foreign crisis, xenophobic violence against foreigners, particularly other African nationals, has been a big story in the country for the last few days. As ever, there's also a bit of disinformation during rounds on social media platforms. There are numerous videos and photos purportedly showing the violence. But do these visuals reflect what really is happening in South Africa? This video here is being distributed widely on WhatsApp. It shows a building on fire and individuals jumping or falling from the roof. People sending it are claiming that it's from South Africa. But actually, this building on fire is in the city of Surat in western India. The fire took place in May 2019. Here's another one. The footage shows a man being burned alive after he was accused of robbing a woman's handbag. Many are sharing the video on WhatsApp, claiming it depicts the currently ongoing xenophobic violence in South Africa. But our experts have actually confirmed that the video is from Joburg, South Africa, and it was recorded in January 2019. See, social media is awash with graphic photos and videos that appear to stoke tensions and uncertainty in the country. And many people find it a little bit hard to tell what's real and what's not. What complicates things further is that much of the footage being shared is not fake or doctored, but its context is sort of being distorted to make it look like it shows what's happening right now in South Africa. But the impact of the social media outcry has been far-reaching. What's been happening in South Africa has been felt in a huge way here in Nigeria. We've seen both peaceful and violent protests. And it's not just misinformation about the attacks that's stoking anger. A video of the South African Deputy Minister of Police speaking about the presence of foreign nationals in South Africa has been shared widely, but it's actually a clip from 2017. Popular Nigerian blogger Linda Ikeji shared a photo of a burned MTN office claiming that it has been set alight in Lagos. It was in fact a picture of another fire from another state in 2015. Xenophobic attacks are not a new phenomenon in South Africa. In fact, Records show that attacks against foreigners have been recorded since 1994. The attacks hit peak in 2008 and again in 2015. But what makes it different this time? Uh, this time you have social media and information travels uh, very quickly. And uh, to an extent, the fake news that has been trending on social media has been sort of adding fuel to the fire. For everything you come across on social media, don't believe it on face value. Learn to question before you believe it or before you share it with your friends.